Hello class, today we are going to see the different ways drugs are classified. Drugs can be classified according to their origins. For example, whether they originate from natural products, fermentation, or semi- or synthetic origins. Class, meet Sang. He is my student. Hello all. The second way of classifying drugs is by their mode of action. There are three types of drugs mode of actions, that is etiological, substitutive, and symptomatic treatment. Okay, let me recall. Etiological drugs, substitutive drugs, and symptomatic treatment. All these fall under mode of drug actions. The principle of etiological drugs lies on selective toxicity or chemists called the magic bullet. In other words, destruction of the invaders without harming the host. Substitutive drugs are given to counteract deficiency for your instance, dietary vitamins, physiological disturbances, insulin in diabetes, or estrogen in menopausal women. Whereas symptomatic treatment concerns the removal of the general symptoms, pain or fever but do not treat the underlying problem. This improves or maintains the quality of life. One minute. What about those drugs that do similar things, like aspirin and morphine? They are painkillers. Good question, Sam. Aspirin and morphine share similar mode of actions and relieve similar symptoms but act on different targets. So this is the drawback of this classification. Good, now let's move on to ATC. Doctor, don't forget there are two more categories. The third one is based on the nature of illness, and the fourth one on chemical structure. Oh yes, chemical structure is sorted in themes, sugar chemistry. It is useful in pharmaceutical research, and helps SAR studies by comparing analogues. Doctor, what about classifying drugs by nature of illness? If I'm not mistaken WHO uses this classification a lot. Oh yes, nature of illness is used by WHO. It is based on physiological classification, meaning a drug is classified according to where it acts on the body system. The anatomical therapeutic chemical, or the A. TC classification system divides drugs into different groups according to the organ or system. This pharmaceutical coding system is formulated and run by the WHO Collaborating Center for Drug Statistics Methodology and was first published in 1976. So, drugs are classified in five different levels. In the first level, drugs are divided into 14 main groups. Second level deals with pharmacological slash therapeutic subgroup. Oh, I got it. Then, in levels 3, 4, and 5, the pharmaceutical substance is further classified into their respective chemical subgroups. Yes, now let's see one example of using all these five levels of A. TC classification system. Let's take metformin as our example. Metformin fall under the alimentary tract and metabolism category. So that is the first level, with an A code. Metformin is used in the treatment of diabetes. This therapeutic use falls under the second level of subgroup 10. So number 10 is added next to the letter A. In the third level, metformin is categorized as blood glucose lowering drugs. This pharmacological subgroup is coded with the letter B. The fourth and fifth levels further assign metformin as a subgroup of Vigorida and finally, to the specific pharmaceutical substance. That's about it, on the classification of drugs or pharmaceutical substances. Next we will look at the use of INN.